Thanks very much, Andrew. It's wonderful to be here. It's very good to be here under the auspices of reform, a think tank uh, I know well. It's a fantastic think tank that I think uh, very much changed the way we look uh, at a whole range of uh, issues in the public sector. Thank you to KPMG, who play a very important role uh, in uh, the whole cyber security uh, debate. So it's very good to have them sponsoring. And of course, uh, BT. Well, I hope today's event can be one of the catalysts to make, you know, spread that information, make progress happen more quickly. If we are going to be a world leader in technology, we should be a world leader in cyber security. Get cyber out of the IT department. I mean, it's obviously got to stay a bit in the IT department. But get it out of the IT department and into the boardrooms. So we're going to give people vouchers so they can get advice on cyber. We're going to set up a careers hub because we've got a real need for skills in cyber. Uh, and we're also going to uh, strengthen the partnership between business and universities. We've got a lot of cutting edge research in this country and we want businesses to be part of that. Technology is transformative. Technology, I often say, to, particularly to young people looking at careers, engineers save more lives than doctors. So I don't think that people will feel strongly uh, secure enough to share data unless they feel that they have an ownership of it. The, the complex web of legislation which often surrounds data sharing that makes it quite complex for practitioners. Um, what Gov.uk Verify does is allow you in an entirely digital way to prove your identity to a level of assurance that's not currently possible online. No organisation is an island in cyberspace. So government and industry is working together to increase information sharing about the threats and vulnerabilities we face. Uh, and we sit on quite a lot of your data. Pensions, payrolls, pretty much uh, uh, everything about you. So as you can imagine, uh, security is kind of important to us. I think the difficulty that many businesses and people have had is understanding the threat, um, realising that they're at risk and, and what can happen to them, and also knowing where to go for help. One of the main inhibitors, I think, of, of greater resilience against cyber attacks um, is the perception that security is a cost or a blocker to getting things done. Cybercrime stats will go up, and if people report more, they will shoot up. And actually, is that a good thing? Yes, I think it is. Like the way we talk about things as human beings, doesn't matter what it is, changes how you perceive risk. Right? And this is all about risk management. Like if we treated safety like we allowed security to be treated, we'd all be dead. Well, most crime is becoming more and more internet enabled, just like every other aspect of our, our lives. The more I've done this job, the more I realise governance is at the heart of pretty well everything we do. A characteristic of the cyber security risk is that there is that level of interplay where there is less ability for government, uh, in the UK at least, to exert control over the whole thing because most of it is distributed uh, in the private sector. Well, I think what the, the, the day has shown is that there's clearly a lot of work that needs to be done for police forces to, to catch up with, with the threats. Uh, so today we're announcing the Inspired Careers Hub. It's an online hub promote uh, cyber security as a profession.